Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Ursula is a villainous sea witch who strikes deals with poor unfortunate merfolk with the promise of making their dreams come true. Ursula's contracts, however, are covertly designed to advance her own ambitions and percent cause general misery. In the past, Ursula was a resident of King Triton's palace, before being banished and percent exiled by order of the king. Scorn, she has since vowed to exact vengeance by harnessing the power of the king's Triton and percent installing herself as ruler of all seven seas. She is stronger than Squid, which can hurt whales, which can end just slamming into each other at full force. Its kinetic energy is 9,645,062 joules, making her all level. She is comparable to Ariel, who reacted to energy bolts fired by the Triton, making her supersonic. She survived being crushed by a large rock. Ursula is highly experienced in magic and percent alchemy. She is also an expert manipulator who has tricked many mermen and percent mermaids with her contacts and twisted eels so she could turn them into polyps. Came up with a plot to use Ariel's love for Eric to her advantage so she could play Ariel's voice and percent use her as leverage against King Triton and percent take over the ocean. Precious mermaid, are you crazy with revenge? I suppose I sympathize. And Jetsam! Boil, darling, strong as the tide. Sweet as poopsies, hasten to my side right now. Mommy needs you. Smash those stupid fools! With the Triton, she has the power to destroy big ship. Physically making her large building level. Using the Triton's power, she can create storms and percent whirlpools that destroy large ships. Magically making her large mountain level. This is not the end, my dears, I swear I've just begun. It's not over until Ursula has won! She can be very overconfident. She may be tough with a trident. She could still be impaled by a ship or the trident yes, misfires could potentially kill her accomplices. Overall, even with those claws, Ursula is still a very dangerous sea witch. Queen Chrysalis is the queen of the changelings, insect-like beings who feed off the love of others to gain power for their own. She first appeared as Princess Cadence in order to hypnotize her fiancé shining armor, invade Cantrellus, and first and eventually take over Equestria. However, the same thing she drew power from ultimately defeated her, as Shining Armor and first and Princess Cadence used the power of love in order to send Chrysalis her army of changelings flying out of the city. She comes back and first and captures every powerful pony in Equestria, including the main six, Spike, the princesses, Shining Armor, and first and Flurry Heart. She is then overthrown, for she for vengeance on Starlight Flimmer for ruining her plans. She then returns again and percent creates artificial clones of the main six in order to control the elements of harmony and percent make a new hive. However, the clones betray her and percent get destroyed by the tree of harmony. Finally, she teams up with Lord Tyrek and percent cozy flow to take over Equestria. She was able to contend with the clone of Twilight before being overpowered. This clone should be just as powerful as the real Twilight, who was able to contend with Starlight, who was seen as the higher threat than Nightmare Moon. Meaning, Starlight is more powerful than Nightmare Moon, who is more powerful than Luna, who created a shared dream of every pony in Ponyville. Dreams are seen as another universe and percent there are between 3,100 and 4,300 citizens in Ponyville, making her multiversal level. She is comparable to a clone of Twilight, who should be just as fast as Twilight, who is above Luna, who can move through the Dream Realm, which houses an infinite hallway of doors, making her infinite. She is capable of fighting comparable characters and percent thanks to the explosion of the Changeling Hive. Chrysalis is highly intelligent. She tricked everybody but Twilight during the Cantrellet wedding, 
page the successful coup on everything below the corn princess, along with Tyrek and first and Cozy Glow, she was able to bypass Cantarlet Castle's improved security system and first and manipulate the ponies of Equestria into turning on each other. However, she can sometimes be arrogant enough to make poor decisions, such as refusing to reform despite knowing it would mean losing her hive, kingdom, her royal status and ending up as a fugitive. After obtaining a third of the power that was stored away in the Bewitching Bell, she gained this new form that is more powerful than anything she had before. She destroyed Twilight's shield and first and put with Amphers and defeated Starlight Glimmer. She is also around the same level as her form Tyrek, who was confident in taking on the Ulicorn Princesses and first and Pump, are swell the beard of the other pillars of Equestria, and first and Ulicorn Cozy Club, who was considered a big enough threat that Celestia and first and Luna felt the need to combine their magic against her. She is arrogant and first and needs to feed on love. When impersonating someone, her magic remains green regardless of the natural color of the magic of whoever she's impersonating, which could be used as a giveaway to her identity. Overall, even with those flaws, Queen Chrysalis is still an evil changeling who never gives up on her goals. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. Alright, let's do this again. Once again, it's another scum. Queen Chrysalis has the advantage in every category, Ursula just doesn't stand any chance against the changeling. Even if we evolved that, Chrysalis would still win due to her being able to take on much more experienced and first and much more magical being while also having more magic than Ursula could ever dream of having. Next time on Total Fight Time.